Hello everyone, welcome to The Samaritan Paradox. This is an adventure game full of detectivery and secrets and all sorts of puzzles. What intrigues me the most about it is that apparently the story is really good. However, what worries me the most about it is that listed as one of the features for the game is old school. Personally, I think the words old school combined with adventure game is pretty much about the most terrifying thing in existence on this planet. So, we'll see what happens with that. Just a warning in advance, I might end up using a walkthrough a lot. We'll see what happens. Anyway, it's available from a bunch of different places, including Steam and GOG. I'll have links to all of that in the description. Let's get going. Gothenburg. 1984. My name is Ord Solomon. I find codes, and then I crack them. It's what I do. And in just a week, Sweden will send mediators to the region to help negotiate a peace treaty. Critics have called into question Sweden's suitability as mediators, given our role as global exporters of weapons. Day one. Hello? Hello, Ward, it's Magnus. Oh, uh, hi. Did I catch you staring dreamily out of the window? Searching the perpetual overcast for cracks? Well, that's where the light gets in. So, uh, had any time to look at the book I gave to you? Oh, uh, not quite yet. Uh, don't you think it could help you take your thoughts off the ciphers and codes for a moment? Sure, sure. It's by John M. Bergwall. You told me you like him. I liked him as a journalist, but as a writer of detective stories... Uh... Yeah, okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> okay, just wanted to check on you, mate. Thanks, man. Everything's alright? Eating and sleeping and so on? Yes, yes, I am. Don't worry. Lunch Friday? Sure thing, Magnus. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, let me turn down the music volume. The music is very good, but it's unfortunately too loud, and for some reason the music volume resets every time I restart the game. So yeah, I get the impression that Ord is one to get very into his work. To obsess. Given that his friend f saw fit to ask him if he's sleeping or eating. Let's take a look around. I think one of the best parts, one of my favorite parts of any adventure game is looking around players' homes and just looking at everything. For example, looking at this torn away piece of wallpaper. I had a picture there, which I tore down so violently some of the wallpaper came off. That's history now, though. You really hated it that much you tore it off the wall? Jesus. Don't feel like fixing that now? Aww. I put it together myself. I'm a highly skilled cryptologist, but the IKEA instructions almost made me cry. <laughs> and this game is set in Sweden. So many books. That's the new book. I guess that's the one the guy probably wants me to read. I mostly read nonfiction now, books on literature and cryptology. It was long since I had inspiration to read just for fun. Once upon a time, I had a nice apartment full of nice things. Now, I've ended up with this. It's raining outside, but the clouds are spread pretty thin across the sky and allow frail beams of light to reach my window. Thesis. My PhD thesis, it's titled Codes in Fiction. I've got stuck recently and lack inspiration. Yeah, I wish I could just sit down and write the bloody thing. Unfortunately, I've lost momentum completely. That's a problem. That's my telephone. I've managed not to screw up the payments, so it should be functional. It's my TV. Its only purpose is to provide some sort of animation to my room. I don't want to actively watch it. I prefer to let the talking heads mumble on in the background. 
Yeah, it's a pretty kind of ghetto setup he's got here. TV on the ground, crappy IKEA furniture. Lord Solomon. An empty pint glass is standing precariously close to the edge of the kitchen sink. Perhaps we should grab it. I guess I could use this empty pint glass. I'm not too big on doing the dishes, but I've seen worse. Let's see if I can grab a drink. No, not on the furniture. On... Kitchen sink. Let's fill this glass. Can I drink it by using it on myself? Drink water? I haven't got hiccups. What? Are you one of those people that never drinks water? Like, what is this fluid? This strange alien fluid I'm supposed to put into my body? Get this away from me. I just want to open all the cupboards, but apparently I can't. I never got around to read that newspaper, even though I know about the front page story by now. I'll just take a quick look. I'm not that interested in current events. Let's see. It's now confirmed that famous journalist and novelist Jonathan Birdwall committed suicide in August this year. It came as a complete shock, says daughter Sarah Birdwall, currently residing in Stockholm, where she works as a chemist. Released ominously... Released ominously titled novel earlier this year. The Last Secret, despite being an ordinary and seemingly non-autobiographical detective story, is seen by some as foreboding its author's fate. I believe that'd be him, a selection of works. Utopia... Uh, it's too blurry to read. Utopia something. Silent Rooms? A Letter to Something? The Fall of the Something? Journalist and novelist. Funny. Bergwall's daughter is a chemist. Apparently she wouldn't walk in her father's footsteps. Herbert. I've apparently named my plant, and Herbert seems to be shedding on the ground. That's Herbert, my weeping fig. Herbert is dying from dehydration, it seems. I might have neglected him lately. Oh, I guess that's what the water's for. Herbert probably liked that. <gasps> I don't know if that was actually a real puzzle, but I feel like I just... See, I have this curse in adventure games where I get stuck on the first puzzle. I think I maybe just overcame that. Although I have a feeling it doesn't actually matter. Let me see if I can do it again. I probably won't use this pint glass for a while, so I'll put it in the sink. Oh, I lost it. Good Herbert. A tree doesn't offer much interactivity. <laughs> Such a dry description. Where's your sense of humor, Ord? You could have at least tried to strike up a conversation. Let's take a look at the bookshelf. The code book, Smith of Ciphers and Codes. Something that's too blurry to read. Cryptology. Something. Young comparative... Literature, maybe? Basic... Chemistry. Why do I have a book on chemistry? I don't need to consult this chemistry book right now. I don't know why I haven't thrown that book out yet. It's got nothing to do with my thesis. I was just wondering that. But, coincidentally, the daughter... Was it Sarah Bergwall? I don't even remember what the guy's name is now. Holy crap. Hold on. What was his name? Jonathan? Uh, yeah, Sarah Bergwall. And Jonathan. So yeah, Sarah Bergwall is a chemist. So I have a feeling that might come in handy. It's my clock radio. It can, hypothetically, wake me up for early appointments. I know what that is. A reminder that I have to pay the rent. Or lose the flat. I would if I had enough money. Let's take a look at my notebook. Rent money. I think I'm about two weeks away from being thrown out. I need money soon. If I'm ever going to amount to anything, I need to finish my PhD thesis. But I lack inspiration. 
Alright, so I'm a starving student, basically. Let's take a look at this book, huh? Magnus gave it to me yesterday, a novel by Jonathan Bergwall. Magnus is really considerate, but lacks good taste in literature. He just wants me to read something non-cipher related, but he's picked a rather banal detective story. Something tells me it might be more interesting than you think. Let's take a look. The Last Secret. Jonathan Bergwall. I'll just take a quick look. To my daughter, Sarah. There's something about that ISBN code. I should find out what it is before I look at the rest of the book. Wait, what? That's a strangely positioned ISBN tag. I guess it is kind of strangely positioned. Why? From my weekend shifts sorting books at the library, I can tell that ISBN number looks strange. A code, perhaps? Oh god. Never mind what I said about Herbert. This is the first real puzzle. Sorry, is that part of my notebook? Yes, it is. There's a code, 90 blah blah blah, right at the beginning of the Birdwall's last novel, maybe addressed to Sarah herself. Now, how would one secretively communicate with Sarah? Hmm. Well, it's quite a leap to say that that's an attempt to communicate with Sarah. But, anyway. How would I go about deciphering it, though? Can I get my book of ciphers? Nope. This is what remains after I throw out all fiction and prose. My library has been accused of looking pretty dry, but I can't risk getting distracted. Oh, it has a chart of the periodic table. Maybe that will do. Oh! Oh. Oh. Now, how would I do this? Drag and move the notebook by its top for better vision. Oh. Neat. Oh, I see. So I point out the... F okay. So I click on each one in, in sequence. Okay, so 90. Wait, how the hell is this sorted? I just realized I don't actually understand how the periodic table is actually sorted. What does the number refer to? Is it the, the atomic weight or something? I can't remember. Anyway. 90. 68. Where are you? Like, it just skips over the 60s completely. Eh. Eh. Or down here for some reason. Ah, it's spelling out a message. Interesting. 99. There's. Okay. 8. 10. There's 1. 42.75. There's one more. That should be the message. I just got an achievement. Elementary, my dear... Uh... What was my last name? I just forgot what my last name was. Anyway, I wonder what it's supposed to imply. I should call Magnus and ask for advice. There's one more. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be hunting down the author's, like, secret book, so maybe there's one more book? Solomon, that's my name. I'm going to be such a good cryptographer, forgetting my own name. I'm good with codes, though, I swear. Magnus speaking. Hey, uh, it's me again. Hey, mate. You know the Bergwall book you gave me? Uh, the Last Secret? Yeah, you started reading it? I found a secret code right at the beginning. It seems to be addressed to Sarah Bergwall, his daughter. Jesus, you find codes everywhere, don't you? I've already cracked this one. I believe it means there's one more. 
One more of what? I have no idea. I see. You know what you should absolutely do? Uh, no. But I'm sure you're about to tell me. You should contact Jonathan Bergwall's daughter and let her know that you've deciphered his message to her. No, no, I, 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 I couldn't. I couldn't possibly do that. Besides, she probably already solved it. Then you could at least ask her what it means. This could give you a lot of inspiration for your essay. Come on, are you going to rot away in that shadowy den all your life? Your life needs a new direction, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know. You keep telling me. Excitement! Go outside, meet new people, get some brand new impressions. You sound exactly like my psychologist, you know that? You don't have one, you're far too stubborn. More like too broke. Now you look her up and give her a call. Mm. If you don't do it, I'll do it for you and arrange a meeting. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Great. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, sure thing. See ya. Jesus. I guess I'm really doing this. Here's your coffee. Anything else? Uh, not for me. I'm good, thanks. One refill is included in the price. Uh, fine, thank you. So, uh, thanks for meeting me. I have a feeling I should be thanking you. So, you found a hidden message in the beginning of the last secret? Yes. And it means there's one more? As far as I can tell, yeah. That's quite amazing. Did you say you're some kind of cryptologist? Yeah, among other things. All right. Do you know what the message refers to? Yes, it confirms my suspicions. It means there's one more book, contrary to the popular belief that the last secret is the last thing he wrote. And it is Father's wish that I search for it and find it and read it. I believe it's the key to my inheritance. Really? What's in the book? I don't know for sure, but I'm afraid I can't do it. I, w I won't read it. It's a long story, really. This is a way for Father to impose his will after his death, as my punishment for not being interested in his career and his writing and his journalistic endeavors. He never gave me a dime when I grew up. He believed gifts corrupt, one of his many ideas about raising kids. There should be millions of chronos somewhere, hidden. I think the book will tell you how to find it. That's his plan, to force me through his book in order to get my inheritance. But I refuse to play along. I just won't do it. Oh, so you won't try to find it then? Out of spite? To be honest, Ord, I'm a bit afraid too. Afraid of the book? Yeah, of what I might find in it. That's a shame. I would really like to read it. I would love to use this stuff in my PhD thesis. It's a great story. You know what? If you want to, you could help me. You could search for the book and read it, so I won't have to deal with it. If you succeed, we'll split the money. Really? That's... Uh, th that's a very generous proposal, but I don't know if... Then it's a deal. Meet me in the Bergwall estate tomorrow. Ord, what have you gotten yourself into? Day two. Here we are. Welcome to the Bergwall Estate. It's a dull place, if you ask me. I rarely set foot here. Now only Signa, my mother, and Veronica, her nurse, live here. Anyway, when I was a child, father used to arrange treasure hunts. He'd leave clues around the house, each leading to another one, and in the end, there'd be candy or a present for me. I suspect he's arranged something similar now. His last postcard is basically the only clue I have. I'll give it to you. And you think the book is hidden here in the house? I have no idea. He has a cabin on Fardo, out in the archipelago where he used to write. It could be there. In fact, it could be anywhere. I'll give you the key to the cabin. Uh, good, thanks. I'm staying at a friend's place today. I have to sort out some legal stuff surrounding Father's death. If you have any questions about anything, I left the number by the phone. By the way, I've been telling people you're my boyfriend. That way you can move around here more freely. 
I'd rather you didn't tell people about the book, or ask around about it. You're here to help me sort out the practicalities. Oh. Well, I'll act supportive. Alright, let's find Jonathan Bergwall's last novel. If there even is such a thing. Well, she's extremely trusting of me to give me the key to her father's cabin and give me free reign of this place. Wow. Let's save the game. If I can remember how. Which one's save? I think the bottom one's save. Uh, this saves? I think that's saved. The menu is rather strange. Also, let me switch to non anti aliased font. It looks much more readable to me. This is quite the intriguing story. Really, it's kind of the perfect adventure game story, right? I mean, you're a cryptologist. That's, like, perfect for an adventure game. And I'm essentially a detective here. A detective cryptologist. Alright, cabin key. It's the key Sarah gave me for Jonathan's cabin on Fardo. It's the last thing Jonathan sent to Sarah before he died. It's a photograph with some text written on the back. Dear daughter, I hope you're well in Stockholm. You're not forgetting your family here in Gothenburg, right? Remember the game we played when you were little? Wouldn't it be fun playing it again? Just for old time's sake? Your father. Hmm. Now I'm looking for clues everywhere. I wonder if that little horsey has something to do with it. Hmm. You know, that sounds pretty awesome. I would have loved as a kid having my parents make treasure hunts for me. Good way to... I mean, it's a good way to have fun and just exercise your brain, too. I like it. It's a delicate ivory statue, probably from when people could still import ivory. It's one of those newfangled telephones with buttons. <laughs> it's a newfangled telephone, right? It is set in 1980 something? 84? Or something like that? I don't need to call anyone yet. It's a warming fire. I don't want to touch the fire. Fair enough. Hmm. It's turned the other way in Jonathan's photograph. Maybe a way to draw attention to it. Hmm. Maybe it's a... Let's see if this can be of any use. I was thinking maybe, like, you move it and it's connected to a lever thing, but apparently not. It's just a small wooden horse. Yep, in front of the fire. So he was standing right here. I don't suppose I can put it back, can I? I don't suppose I can burn it, can I? I don't want to burn the horse figurine. Alright, alright. Looks like a... What the hell even is that word? A pastiche? I have no idea what it is. Pastiche of a monet? Monet? I don't know. It's an empty pedestal. Maybe we put the horse on the empty pedestal. The horse's hooves fit right into the four holes drilled into the surface. There were four holes drilled into the surface? You didn't even mention that, but... Uh, Thank God I put it on there anyway. Maybe now it's a key? I can turn the horse clockwise, counterclockwise, or take the horse with me. Uh, I should probably take the horse with me until I know what to do with it more specifically. Okay. It sounded like a clockwork was reset when I removed the horse. Right, so this person has a crazy adventure game house full of weird figurines that connect into key things that involve turning stuff. I would like an adventure game house. All who enter cannot leave until they complete a series of obscure puzzles. They'll never leave. <laughs> Actually, they just call the police and then they'd arrest me. It's the door to the music room, as they call it. Hello? 
There's a small cabinet near the entrance. There's a letter o opener resting on top of it. Might be worth holding on to. Paper knife. That's Cigna, Sarah's mother, and Jonathan's widow. Slumbering. Excuse me, uh, Signy? No, she's completely unresponsive. And sorry, her name's Signy, not Signa. Old-fashioned phonograph. Let me guess, I need to play her a song to wake her up. There are photos of a much younger Signy posing with military uniforms. Apparently, she pursued a military career in her 20s. The photo of a wedding couple, probably Jonathan and Signy. Grand piano. An electric fan is standing on it. Mini fan! Very small electric fan. Can I take it? Well, it's not like anyone's going to miss it anytime soon. It's rather chilly. <laughs> oh god, I'm already starting the adventure game inventory madness. At the moment, shoved in my pants, I have a letter, a key, a horse figurine, a paper knife, and a mini fan. That's Veronica. Signy's private nurse. Hello there. Hi! You sound very happy. Um... You must be Veronica. That's me, and you must be Ord, Sarah's boyfriend. Indeed, uh, nice to meet you. Yes, nice to finally meet you. Well, it's great that Sarah has someone to support her through this. I don't see her all that often these days, but I really like her. Smart and strong-willed. You'd better hold on to her. Yes, I had. Hadn't I? That was a very awkward sentence. Yes, I had, hadn't I? Is that even correct? You had better hold on to her. Yes, I had, hadn't... What? That hurts my brain. Until I'm done helping her, that is. It's funny. I reckoned her boyfriend would be more of a... Yes? Jock, I guess. A go-getter kind of person. You're pleasantly laid back. Uh, thanks. I guess. Is this like... Is this like flirting with her? Like, so, uh, you spend a lot of time here? What a dumb question. Of course she does. She's a, the nurse. I guess I'll ask it anyway. So, you spend a lot of time here? You could say that. Especially after Jonathan died. But even before that, I mean, I was nursing him a whole lot too, frankly. Oh, he was needy? Hasn't Sarah told you about her father yet? Well, she will. He was getting more absent-minded by the day, like an old professor. I didn't mind taking care of him, too. They pay me well and treat me like family. Oh my. Can I ask you about my rent money? <laughs> I doubt Veronica would be interested in discussing that. Fair enough. Well, let's talk about Veronica. Let's talk about yourself. You doubt Veronica would be interested in discussing Veronica. Um, hmm. Sarah's mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's a couple years ago. It's sad. What did she do before she got ill? When she was really young, she worked in the military. She was based on Fardo, before they shut down all the military facilities there. Exactly what she did, I'm not sure of. Okay, Fardo, that's where the cabin is. Oh, right, I should mention the secret book, but I can probably rephrase the question a bit. So, did Jonathan have any writing projects going on by the time he passed away? Well, he had officially retired. But I think he was still writing stuff. Maybe his memoir or something. I wasn't particularly involved in all that. He kept returning to his cabin to write, but he never mentioned what it was. You seem very interested. Are you a writer too? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I should be wary. Sarah asked me not to leave a trail of questions. Oh, actually, I do write occasionally. Uh, never mind, I was just curious. Jonathan Bergwald is a big name, after all. I knew you were a writer. You talk like one. Just like Jonathan. Wait, I just realized, is it, his name's Jonathan, not Jonathan. There's no H. Jonathan. Oh, I don't know her that well. She's been here more often lately, after Jonathan passed away. She must be very busy in Stockholm. I bet she works all the time. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, she does. I can't keep asking about a topic, can I? Oh, I don't know her that well. No. She yeah. He was kind to me. But there wasn't much we could talk about. You know, he was very into politics and literature and everything. He was very passionate about stuff. If something on the news got him upset, he'd talk about it all day. Then he'd go to his chamber and write about it. He always expected you to have strong opinions about stuff. And to be interested in stuff, you know? Hmm. I don't know anything special about it. I do recognize it, but I've never thought about it. See you soon, Ord. It's some kind of workout program. Wait, don't you usually watch workout programs and then, like, do the workouts yourself while you're watching? Who would watch a workout program and not work out? I don't understand. This is not really the time to play the piano. Fair enough. There's not much it does except play records. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, hand crank. I can crank that all day, but without a record it's rather pointless. Okay, need a record. Fair enough. Still can't talk to her, right? Excuse me, uh, Signy? Nope. Ooh, there's some records down there. Hello. A collection of old, rather fine books. Let's take a look. A collection of Strindberg, some Almkvist, a rare copy of... Candy... Did, did, did something. A collection of poems by Keats. A bit of everything, really. There's also a collection of LPs in the bottom corner. I guess I could use this record with military signals. Military signals? What? Swedish Lotus play military signals and marches. The first track is the Rev... I don't know how to pronounce any of this. Must have been a real hit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that was sarcastic or not, but I took it as sarcasm. A small school of guppies occupy the still functional aquarium. I shouldn't disturb the fish. No, but perhaps I should feed them. There's nothing special with the desk. Jonathan Bergwall's personal desk. It's empty except for a book. Oh, well, I guess there's his last secret book sitting on his desk. Mystery solved. End of game. The book has a little note attached to it saying to cure your insomnia, love K. Why not? I'm rather prone to insomnia. After all. <laughs> it's literally described as boring book. Apparently people find this a very boring book. I know. I'll give this to Signy and it'll wake her up, right? It's like reverse psychology. Give a sleeping person a boring book and they wake up. Use boring book on boring book, yes please. Aww. Lots of notes and clippings are pinned to that board. Most of the notes are pretty old. The most recent one is a newspaper clipping from half a year ago. Nothing special on there? Apparently not. I wish Ord would get out of the way of my mouse. My cursor. It's always in the way, stupid Ord. It's a rather colorful painting. I think his office and his desk would have a bunch of really interesting stuff. But there's nothing in here really but a boring book and a record. Plop this thing in. I'll put this on the turntable. Crank it up. The first track is Revile? Revel? I'm not sure. Wakey wakey, Signy. <laughs> I'm not sure why I couldn't just like slap her about the face, but okay. Hello there, Signy. Who are you? I'm Ord. I'm a friend of Sarah's. 
Have you seen my husband? I'm afraid I haven't. He should be around to see me off. I'll soon be off to Fardo, I mean. You're going to the islands? Uh, to the cabin? What cabin? I'm going to the base to work. I... I understand. The war may be over, but we can never trust the Russians. My, she's stuck in the 40s. Of course. Of course what? The... Russians... They... Uh, who are you? Where is Jonathan? Sorry, Signy. I have to go now. That was not particularly fruitful. I also noticed that the music seems to completely go silent during dialogue, which is weird. It's not how it's supposed to be. Turn it up a couple notches? I don't know. Weird. Wait, can I not ask her about stuff from... my notebook? Hello? Who are you? I'm Or. Have you seen my- I'm afraid- He should- I'll soon be off- You're- What? I- The wo Of course. Of co The- uh, Sorry. Nope. Well, that didn't fix the audio, so I'll put it back down. It's weird, I know it just fades into the background if the volume's at the default, which is how it's supposed to be. For some reason, it goes completely silent. Oh my. Lot of books. There's a comfortable looking chair in the corner. A pile of magazines rests on the table. Sustainable charity. Sub Rosa. A political quandary. Monthly review. Analysis of the dwarf. Poet. Okay. I can't be bothered to read the whole magazine. Oh, yeah, it is 1984. It's a date right up there in the top right. It's a small cassette player. Anything in it? There's no cassette tape in it currently. It's the world! I don't need to do anything with the globe. Old golden compass, hmm. I guess I can borrow this for a while. It's antique, but appears to be functional. Hmm. A rather extensive collection of books. Let's see what we've got here. I'll just take a random book and have a quick look. A book on art history. One of his own books, The Fall of the Folk Home. Seems boring. A book on mythological beasts. Uh, Fall of the Folk Home again. I accidentally just skipped the last one. A book about chess. Can you place eight queens on a chessboard so that no queen threatens another? I have no idea. Entirely in Latin. Art history? Okay, I think they're starting to loop at this point. Alright. Yeah, it looks like no matter where you try to use the library, it just goes to the same spot, so... Nothing much here but the cassette player, I think. Hmm. What am I gonna do with a mini fan? What in the hell? Oops. Has a text? It has a text to throw on it. Sarah has probably begun preparing to clear the house. Mostly old photo albums here. Lots of pictures of Jonathan holding Sarah as a child. Hmm. I currently have no business in their basement. I'm already wearing my jacket. I guess there's clothes in the closet. What about out here? Oh. Oh, that's his home. No, that's my home. My home. Yes. Okay. Now it makes sense. 
Or I could go to the cabin, it would seem. Do I have anything else to do here? I can't think of any special way to turn the horse figurine or anything of the sort. Or what to do with the compass. So the only clue I have directly from Jonathan himself is this horse figurine. Let's mess around with it for a second. Clockwise. Alright, let's make some calls. Hello? Hey, this is Ord. Oh, hi, Ord. So, how are things? Alright, I guess, under the circumstances. I'm working to find a better place for Cigna. Now that Jonathan's gone, there's no point in keeping this place. I understand. Okay, apparently they disagree about how to pronounce Cigni. Is it Signia or Signa? I don't know now. That makes me feel confident, though, that no matter which way I do it, I guess I'm not wrong. Hmm. Just ask about everything. Even my rent money. Veronica has been great. She's not just a nurse. She's a family member. I know she had a tough time with father's eccentricity, but she's handled it well. Since I moved to Stockholm, she's my eyes and ears here, and she's been a great listener. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at the early age of 60. It's very sad. She barely recognizes me anymore. I can't be with her as much since I have a demanding job in Stockholm. It's worked out keeping her at home, thanks to Veronica, our in-home nurse. It's a test. I'll only find the book if I'm worthy. Only by walking in his footsteps and playing his games can I get access to my inheritance. You're the component he didn't account for. Yeah, I'll... I'll do my best. I moved away from here as soon as I could. Started a new life in Stockholm. Father never approved fully of the route I chose. He'd have preferred if I was more into the humanities. Well, wanting something too much can make it slip away even worse. My father committed suicide three months ago. Before that, he was growing increasingly introverted and almost obsessed with justice issues. He'd always been a moral crusader, but it's like the injustices of the world got to him eventually. In the meantime, he still made a lot of money on his detective stories. He produced a lot of rather cheap literature just to pay the bills. It's funny how he despised poor literature, but never thought twice about writing it himself. Well, the horse has always been around, standing on that pedestal. But I don't really know what to make of it now. It wasn't on the pedestal. It wasn't? Funny, I didn't notice. I try my best to help. Magnus here. Hey, it's me. Ord, my friend. What's happening, man? Nothing much. We're having a dinner tonight. Some friends are coming over. Some of Anika's colleagues, and... well... Yeah? It's alright. I can take it. Joanna's coming too? Yep. It's alright, Magnus. I'm over her. I don't dwell on that anymore. Cool. Cool. I don't think he believes me. And I don't believe Ord either. I've got drawn into a real adventure. Really? See, I told you. Tell me what's going on. It's a long story, really. But I'm helping Jonathan Bergwall's daughter find a secret novel. She really trusts me. I can move around the Bergwall mansion freely. Well, you do have a trustworthy air about you. A, a bit of a pushover air about you, really. <laughs> well, look who's talking, Mr. Babyface. <laughs> so harmless. The police use pictures of you to calm down rioters. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. 
All right, I gotta get back to the case. Uh, say hello to Anika for me. Oh well, and uh, lunch on Friday? Sure, Magnus. Keep mentioning that lunch on Friday, but I'm starting to think it's never gonna happen. Like, he'll say, Ord, where are you? I'm standing at the diner. You're supposed to be here. I thought we were supposed to have lunch on Friday. And while Ord is flipping through a book of cryptography and trying to put a horse on a pedestal, he'll say, Yeah, sure, I'll meet you there. And then he never goes. I think I've got to go. I can't think of anything else to do here. Unless I need to make Veronica fall asleep with a boring book, but I have no reason to actually do that, so let's just go. I actually should follow up leads I have before I explore other locales. Okay. Well, what if I go home? I don't think anything here is going to help me, is it? Still got my pint glass. Can I water the plant again? I wonder if there's like an achievement if you water the plant every single day. You know? Maybe there is. Maybe. Good Herbert. Good Herbert. Shh, shh. It's okay. I love you. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to do here. Nope. Thank God I'm such a fast traveler. I've almost pretty much developed teleportation at this point. Alright. Let's take stock of everything. I still have the pint glass with me for some reason. Horse figurine. I do have a functional compass. I don't know what to do with it, though. Is he going to put it on the pedestal? Oh, okay. I mean, what if I, like, put this on here? Like, what if I want to know which way it's facing? The horse appears to be pointing west. Alright, so obviously the direction of it matters. North, east, west, south. North, e north east, south, west. That's probably a better way to do it. <laughs> but... I have no idea what directions to actually have it point, or in what order. So that should be north, right? Mm-hmm. Simple enough. I do wish this game had a highlight system, because I'm just wondering if I've missed something. So nobody knows what's up with the horse. Do I have anything that has anything to do with the directions? Aside from the compass. Something that'd give me directions somehow. Would you like this book? I can't even use it on her. And I have a fan. None of this stuff makes any sense. anything in the image that's relevant. It's pointing west. But I'm pretty sure that's where the horse points by default. Hmm. Would you like a boring book, Signy? I want to make her more awake and not the opposite. Right, she didn't Hello I need to wake her up I'm more. Have you seen I'm afraid he should I'll soon be up. You're going What? I the war may be Of course. Of course the uh, who Sorry, Sig She wants Jonathan, but obviously Jonathan isn't here. 
I don't exactly have a replacement for Jonathan in my inventory, unfortunately. Don't you like this horse, Signy? Oh, I do. It's lovely. I bought it in Copenhagen. It reminds me of a poem Jonathan wrote. Recite it to me, please. Ride south, my love, and <laughs> long for me. Ride east, but not too far. Ride west, my dear, until you see the lonely northern star. Beautiful, isn't it? Eh, so-so. Very. Why, thank you. That is a very silly puzzle, and feels quite strange and out of place to have her perfectly recite a poem. I'm relying on someone with Alzheimer to perfectly recite a poem to solve the puzzle about the horse. So that was his plan all along, huh? Have me give the horse to Signy, who has Alzheimer's, and he's hoping she'd remember the poem exactly? That is quite far-fetched. But anyway... Alright. So, south, east, do I have to keep going in the same direction? Does it matter? South, east, west, north. Okay, you probably have to keep going in this, wait, that wouldn't make any sense though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's probably like, um, uh, I don't even remember what those locks are called. I don't remember. But, yeah, you go in one direction, then you go the opposite direction, so. So, south. Then east. And then west. And then north. Did it work? Okay, that is west, right? Mm-hmm. Okay... Which way did I start with last time? Let's just go like this. South. East. West. Whoa. The light just came on, and I just got an achievement. Let there be light. I didn't even finish. There is a secret compartment. The area is now lit up by a spotlight. Hmm, there's a nail here, and the wallpaper seems worn and miscolored. There's been a painting hanging here, obviously. Alright, there's a missing painting, so what was here? Unless I can perhaps cut through everything? The paper and iPhone mix well with the lit area. Aw, but that's my favorite that's my favorite drink! The paper knife lit area. It's the best. New note. Missing painting. Let's go ask everybody about it. Well, I can't ask you, but let's ask you. Hello there. Hi. There used to be a picture in the living room. By the pedestal, right? I believe Sarah had a few antiquities in pictures sold recently. Maybe she knows more. See you soon. Let's go speak with Sarah. I'm actually doing alright with these puzzles. Even though so far they seem exceedingly silly, and definitely old school adventure game. But so far I'm actually completing them somehow. I'm kind of amazed. Hello? Hey. Oh, hi. The missing painting? Yeah, uh, the one they used to hang above the pedestal in the dining room. Oh, that one. We had to sell some stuff after Father passed away to afford keeping the house. Mother's private nurse alone costs a fortune. So you have sold it? Yes, we had an art dealer over a few days ago. He left with just that painting. He paid rather well. Can you describe the painting? It was called Polaris, I believe. Quite abstract, quite... Ah, so the Northern Star is Polaris. Got it. Egregious. Why are you wondering about it? 
could the painting give some sort of a uh, clue or perhaps contain anything? Did it have a paper backing? Oh, uh, not sure, really. Now that you mention it, it was kind of thick and might have had a paper backing. It's not impossible that it contained something. I'll check the address. Hold on. The address to the gallery is Linnaeus Street 31. Thanks. Uh, please try not to sell more things before we're done finding the book. <laughs> Sorry, I won't. <laughs> okay. I try my best to help. Yeah, please stop selling my clues. Thank you very much. Hello there, you are wearing... interesting clothes. You look kind of like a douchebag. I'm not saying you're a douchebag, I'm just saying you look like one. Must be the owner of the gallery. Uh, good evening. I'm looking for a picture called Polaris. Good evening. Yes, that piece is in our possession. It has been bought, however. The buyer is on his way. That was quick. The buyer was very keen to acquire it. Any chance I could bid over him? Sorry, no. He offered a sum well over the buyout price. And I doubt you could have matched it anyway. No offense. Hmm, okay. I'll just uh, look around then. Be my guest. Just be careful when approaching the artworks. The alarm system is sensitive. State-of-the-art photo cells. I bet. Hmm, seems I won't be able to bring the painting with me. Okay, so I just need to desecrate the painting and then get out of here before anybody arrests me. Got it. Let me save first. Art Appreciator. A fashionable woman is assessing the collection. Actually, I prefer not disturbing her. Elastic Retreat. Starting price, 10,000 kroner. You know what? I have no idea what how much money that actually is. So I'm actually going to look it up right now. Going to my web browser, I'm going to do 10,000 kroner to USD. How much is that in USD? Alright, 10,000 kroner is about $1,800. Roughly. Okay. So that is still a hell of a lot. Embrace position, 80,000, oh my god. It's like 10,000 bucks. Rusted Rose, 55,000. Melodrama of the Invincibles, 22,000. Embarkation Royale. The Beautiful One and Me, 220,000 kroner. Hello, Mr. Cool. That's the one, Polaris. Starting price, 350,000 kroner. Yikes. A seemingly very bored visitor. You don't say! You're bored, are you? I have a boring book for a boring person. Or a bored person, rather. Hi there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Not appreciating the art, are you? Frankly, I wish my wife could stop appreciating it so we could get out of here. Personally, I wish you had a better voice actor. Now fuck off and go to sleep. Uh, hey, if you need to pass some time, try this book. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> Five minutes later. <laughs> Voice acting is amazing. Oh, I guess so. He got so bored he fell asleep. It's a small circular saw used for the restoration work in the inner room. There's a rope closing off the inner room. I can't reach it from here. Well, I mean, it's just a freaking rope. Just go under it. I don't think I have anything that's going to help me. I know. I'll use the mini fan on it. The mini fan won't mix well with the saw. Damn it. It might contain a clue or something, but I can't even get close to it without triggering the alarm. Right, 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 right. 
like so. Oh, I know. I smash the gallery owner's face in with a pint glass, and then I jack it and run. Yeah! I'll just pull this rope aside a bit. Perfect. I guess I could borrow this for a while. I just borrowed a saw. What the hell am I going to do with this saw? A circular saw used for the renovation of the inner room of the gallery. Yeah, it's a circular saw, which means it's extremely loud. If you've ever used one or been around one, they're loud. Like any electric saw would be. Okay, so do I need to deactivate the alarm system? Wait, did I not take it? Yeah, did he put it back? Oh, better leave this here, oh. So, wait. I'm supposed to, like, use it here? Huh? What exactly am I supposed to do with it? Uh... Alright, I've now sawed a hole through the wall. What? The fuck? Jesus, Henry. Sorry. What? I'm in an art gallery, and I'm worried about setting off the alarms, so instead I saw a hole through the wall. Um... Okay. Okay. I will accept this and move on with my life. I just want to point out that that makes somewhere between 0 and 0.0% 0 .0 sense. It's tricky tearing up the paper with my fingers. Uh-huh. Let's use this. I can cut the backing paper with this knife. And voila! A bunch of documents inside. Nobody heard me sawing, sawing open a wall, literally about 20 feet away. <sighs> chapter 1 of the secret book. It's a bundle of documents with the title Chapter 1 on it. Click the book icon to read the book. Oh, here. I should read this someplace more private. Fair enough. <clears throat> Sorry about the wall. Don't mind the noise. I'm gonna go now. Please don't call the police. Chapter 1 It was in the age of the frog and the sparrow. A distant rumbling sound awoke her from a sleep of immeasurable length. She immediately realized that she had no idea where she was, or how she got there, or who she was. She decided to call herself Frasia. She could always change it later, she figured. I've got a dagger on. Oh my god, this is really cool. That is actually incredibly... Incredibly cool. That's really clever. I was expecting, you know, you read the book and it's just literally pages. Which is relatively dry, but... You're actually playing out the story that you're reading. That is so cool. I'm really impressed with that. So, uh, go ahead and save. Alright, well, I'm actually going to end the episode here. So, yeah, so far I am surprised in multiple ways. I'm not surprised with how silly the puzzles are. They are pretty much what I expected when I heard Old School Adventure Game. You pick up stuff that doesn't make any sense to pick up, and you do stuff that doesn't really make much sense, like drilling through a wall... Not drilling. Cutting through a wall to get to a painting. <laughs> oh my god, just... No. Um... But, 
Amazingly, I actually haven't gotten stuck yet, which is very strange. And... Like I was thinking before about what I've heard about the story being good, I'll be damned if the story isn't actually really interesting. I'm really intrigued. And I'm especially more intrigued now that I realize I'm actually playing through the book as I find the chapters. Which is just really cool. So it's a mix of, yeah, I figured it'd be like that, unfortunately, and also a mix of, wow, this is actually really damn good, so I'm impressed. Yep, consider me impressed. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.